Another round of ReZero Season 3 memes from Mr. Anime Vega. Last time, we got baited. Bro, half the stuff wasn't even Season 3 memes, but hey, let's check what he has for us this time. Aren't you the Archbishop of Lust? You're supposed to be a hot milf holding me in your huge tits like Sylvia with Kazuma, so why are you a dragon? For the scalies? <laughs> I don't know, some people genuinely are kind of into like, scale-like, you know, creatures. It's not a furry, it's like a scaly. Technically, Sylvia too was- wasn't she like lizard form? Didn't she have like a scaly form? What? Your love isn't real. You wouldn't love me if I was a worm. Me and my girl. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> good to see Toji make a fucking reference here. What is this thing though? No, I know what it is, but like, what is it? Is it a centipede? What? Like, it, it, it stores all of Toji's like super OP weapons. I saw some fan art though, where like... <laughs> the, the, the thing was, you know, it, it looks like a, it has an opening. <laughs> Can you connect the dots? What I'm trying to say. You know, like the dune popcorn bucket, like the uh, sandworm popcorn bucket, what people were doing with it? Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Episode 5, Amelia, be like. Hey, Megumin! Me looking at all the horny Capella simps while I'm still loyal to Mummy Elsa. Based, this is how I look down on you lollicons. That's right. You have all your rights to enjoy whatever you want. Everyone ha can have different preferences. But I look down for my ivory tower. The MILF enjoyers are truly the superior, superior consumers of anime. You lolly can't see some fucking help. Mom, can I get Rem, please? Mom, we have Rem at home. Hmm. What's the difference here? Both are figurines. Is this basically like a discount? Like a knockoff? One on the left is like the real one that could cost like 500 fucking dollars. One on the right is from like Timu. Or like, I don't know, Wish. I, I got no clue. Rem at home. Yeah, the neck is, you know, the, the hair placement, the neck here, it, it's, it's looking very fraudulent. He is half dead, barely conscious, and his leg is missing. In the air, hanging on a moving dragon. Still make sure that Crush is safe and secure. That is true. I didn't really pay attention to how, you know, Subaru used this whip to tie Crush onto supposedly Garfield's stepdad. I think it is still him, right? But it, it, it is kind of crazy how he secured everyone else. Good. I love this Subaru face. This Subaru face is so funny to me. Is this Clark Kent? It's it's Kal El like Clark Kent, right? You're like a giant like Superman, but like the tracksuit, <laughs> the tracksuit expanding with this amount of volume of muscle. It's fucking hilarious. The entire fan base to Regulus right now. Mm, yeah. uh, what's the reference? Is this the same thing like when Whitebeard shows up right behind Akainu and it's just like, oh shit, you fucked up kind of moment? Basically, people don't... I, I don't know. I, I don't really get this specific scene. I've never seen an anime that had this moment, but I'm going to assume that you're supposed to be the guy behind and we're all very mad because Regulus is trying to diddle Emilia. Hello, Anastasia Hoshin from ReZero. Yo. Hello, Indiana Jones from Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. Okay. Wait, 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 what's happening at the very bottom? Fun fact, I've actually never watched Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. And before you fucking get mad at me, fuck you. It's because I'm not white. Yeah, this is like a national fucking treasure movies for you guys. You know what I was doing? Too busy watching fucking Naruto, probably. Uh, it's like, I can't really see down here. It's really dark. Just taking a pouch, I think. We're just basically just dragging a pouch. Emilia, are you a virgin? U-M dot 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 N-O. According- <laughs> U-M dot 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 N-O. This AI voice is actually more funny. Dot 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 N-O. According to Subaru, the things he did with me have made me unvirgined. And according to Betty, the things I did to Subaru have made him very U-N virgined. Unvirgined? <laughs> the kiss? Sure, we kissed. The virginity's gone. 
I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Everyone is dropping Echidna for Capella. Wah, wah. This is when you have the true loyalists show up, right? Whenever, you know, it's, a, it's just a bunch of bandwagoners. Just a bunch of horny fucking tweets on, you know, Twitter trying to farm, you know, random, you know, likes by saying the most downright thing. There's no loyalty. There's no, like, what's the word? Uh, principle stance. Y'all are just horny posting for random internet points from other random dudes online thirsting for this lolly. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. <laughs> Inhales deeply. I think Capella would enjoy that though, because she wants to be loved or lusted, right, by everybody. Look, Subaru, I know you learned to value your life in the second season and everything, but I think this loop is a lost cause. Honestly, part of me kind of hates how we had that tea party moment where Subaru learned to value his life and that he shouldn't throw each run away, like he's trying to speed run it, that he should try his best. But sometimes, I, I feel like that is the greatest thing Tape could have done for the storytelling. And probably the worst for us trying to like optimize and min max and metagame, you know, return by death. Because now Subaru, like, like if I was Subaru, I would just end myself. Right? The leg is gone. So many things are just, e Amelia has gone. And, and who knows when the next checkpoint is. We still don't even know right now. I, I'm thinking the checkpoint is still when... We wake up and Felix is, you know, healing everybody. But the fact that Tape just created such an important um, characterization for Subaru to care and to not, you know, resort to return by death creates these more fucked up situations. Why won't you just die and start all over? Is that supposed to be Reddit? Yeah, it's basically a bunch of... You know, hyper-optimized, just min-maxes, thinking, bro, this is a ruined run. What are you doing? Just start over. This is so stupid. Just start over. But again, wouldn't it be nice if he could start over? But the story, he won't because of that scene in Season 2. And again, I think Tapi is a genius for doing that. She went from this. Oh, hey. This is uh, Hachiman's sister. She was never looted. She was a great Kohai. Sorry, not Kohai. Little sister, Emoto. Bro. At times like these, all you need to say is I love you to this. Get it. Because that is my wish. Okay. Is my wish. <laughs> You're comparing the Fang? Hachiman's sister became Capella. She went from this to this. Okay. Re zero fan base. Oh, that's some spoilers, but uh yeah. Titties. Empty. Full. <laughs> Empty, but not stupid. Just ignorant. She's not dumb. She's just not aware, because Mountain Girl. Lust in 2009. Lust in 2024. What anime is this from? What, what, what girl is this? But this... this I much prefer this, bro. Someone like Elsa's body type. This is FMA? Brotherhood? Oh, shit. Yo! We should watch FMA one of these days. It's still never really been mentioned in a poll, nor has it been voted in. And a lot of people covering FMA right now on YouTube, I don't really see many people doing well relative to their other content. It's looking like FMA is relatively dead. It's probably a bit too old for motherfuckers to care. But if y'all ever want to watch it, we can do it. Now, Lustin, what happened? 15 years has passed. And the taste profile. No, bring, uh, blame, uh, blame uh, fucking the Okatsu. Whatever his, uh, the illustrator is for the light novel ReZero. No, I doubt that Tape made Lust as a MILF in the source material. I don't think this is the artist, you know, doing his lolicon shit to other people. But hey, lolicons enjoy, but I would have preferred the MILF instead. Tapai put in crucial re-zero law in a paper towel released exclusively in a store in a small town in rural Japan. Yes. Okay, this is actually great. <laughs> this is actually fucking hilarious and so relevant due to Al's secret in a break time. Yeah, and that's another thing. If you want to see the Amelia Subaru date after Arc 2, you got to go to a fucking casino to a specific pachinko parlor and then you got to fucking like... That's the only way.
way you can see the content. He makes it so fucking hard, dude. Pan with a population of less than 10 people. Why? Um, what is a virgin? Magnificent. <laughs> When you're in a NNN competition and your opponent is who? Subaru. Is that boy nothing? I mean, <laughs> do you think Taufei would ever make a Q and A session like a like a fucking yes? Subaru does indeed masturbate once a day. He has been done. Like I don't think he would go and say that. But like, who knows? I bet Regulus also doesn't. Regulus is always uh. He gotta keep himself pure. He, he, he can't let, you know, his, his superior seed grace the outside world. Therefore, he never nuts. You don't know virginity. You learned virginity. Mountain girl? Batty. I get it. Okay. No, not November. Non-stop nut November. I don't think Regulus is gonna be nothing, bro. I, 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 again, like, he just cares about... Well, maybe... Because, like, he's gonna remain a virgin. I don't think he cares about, you know, taking Amelia's. Because he cares about the purity. But, like, I could see him, like... Touching himself. While looking at his prized possessions. What are we doing right now? Oh, the opening. He was still alive. Ah, the ending. He was still alive. Okay. When someone made Rem fan art or illustration. When someone asked when Rem woke up. When someone asked about what happened to Rem in Furcha spoiler. When. Rem, who's Rem, who's Rem, who's Rem? When. Basically. Just, the, the joke is dead. Like, it's been fucking like eight plus years. Please, whose rem is so fucking cringe? In arc seven. Okay, character designs. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, I don't mind, um... I don't think character designs are really spoilers. Unless, let's say like, Subaru had a Super Saiyan form! And it's like, whoa, I didn't know he's gonna have a Super Saiyan form! Then that's kind of spoilers. I already kind of know about this, you know, ninja guy because I saw it, like uh, our art illustration of him, and I was like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" But seems like a uh, super important shit. This is probably gonna be season four content, right? Tape, please stop tormenting me by creating superhuman villains. No. Watching season two, episode one, be like, Subaru Rem said she loves me. Emilia, who's Rem? Still doing this? You watch Re Zero because of. I watch Re Zero because of. We are not the same. I guarantee you, you don't even know that, like, how Tina even disappeared. I think, I think Tina is very suspicious. I think Tina may be Pandora. I don't know. There's something very suspicious happening with Tina in the anime. Now, it could be inconsistencies with the animation and Tina just appearing out of nowhere and just disappearing out of nowhere. But, uh, I am suspicious of Tina, man. Hat died. Hat saved. Everywhere I go, I see her face. Yeah, of course. Everyone's just farming. Everybody is just farming Capella, and you know it's it's just internet points. Everyone's attention. It makes sense. Well, there's another round of memes, and no matter how much you have cringed or how much that you think that it was cringe, please be nice. Y'all are being so fucking mean in the comment section next time. Last time, here's a link for Mr. Anime Vegas channel. Go check out the video, give us some likes, and I'll see you next time.